Amen. We are grateful. We are grateful once more and again unto the Almighty God of Heaven for granting us the privilege and the opportunity to come back together to study another portion of His holy and His divine yes. Word. Amen. We're grateful to see each and every one of you who have come tonight to study the Word of God with us. And if you're here tonight and you're not a member of the Church of Christ, you are our honored guest. We're glad to have you here with us tonight. We're going to open the Bible and we hope and pray that you'll open your mind and readily receive the things from the Word of God which are able to save your soul. We will give you book, chapter, and verse for everything that we believe because we know that in the day of judgment, the Bible teaches that the books are going to be open. Yeah. There's going to be a book of life mm -hmm. that's going to be open, and that is the word of Almighty God. It was Peter that, that told the Lord that they didn't have anywhere else they should go right. because he had the words of everlasting life. Yeah. And so the book of life, the Bible, is that by which we are going <laughs> to be judged. And I'm just of the conviction that if I'm going to be judged by the Bible, then everything I do need to be according to the Bible. Yeah. That way you pass that ultimate test. You don't study English if you're going to take a calculus test. And you're going to fail the test. And so you have to study the necessary book that's going to help you pass the test. And in the day of judgment, that is the ultimate test of life. And so the Bible will certainly help you prepare. We want to begin by uh, answering two questions that we have uh, from last evening. And these questions are baptism-oriented. Mm -hmm. uh, Lord's will, tomorrow night we will deal with the subject, why must I be baptized? Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to answer the question. But for further elaboration, mm -hmm. I need you to come back tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. The first question was asked, uh, if an individual is baptized as an infant, they were baptized as a baby. Is that baptism valid now that they are an adult? My friend, the Bible doesn't show us one instance of a baby being baptized. And everybody who was baptized in the Bible were baptized because they realized they had been wrong. When you look at uh, Acts chapter 2 and beginning at verse number 38, the Apostle Peter indicates on the day of Pentecost that baptism was for the remission or the removal of one's sin. Peter said, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. Right. And so baptism <laughs> is for the purpose of removing sins yeah. in that baptism is the only way that an individual can have their sins washed away. Amen. Look at Acts chapter 22 and verse number 16. When Ananias is talking to Saul, he asked Saul, why is he tarrying? He asked, he told him to rise and be baptized and wash away his sins. Right. Baptism is for individuals who needs sins washed away. Amen. A baby doesn't have any sins. Amen. And, and that, that particular practice originated out of a false doctrine of John Calvin called Calvinism's five point, the five points of Calvinism. And one of those points of John Calvin's <laughs> false doctrine was the fact that people are born totally depraved. That means from the moment they're conceived in the womb of their mother, they are a sinner. That's contrary to Bible teaching. Amen. The Bible teaching that the Bible teaches that sin is the transgression of the law. Amen. And a baby in the womb can't transgress no law. And can't no baby lie in the womb. Can't no baby commit adultery in the womb. Oh. Can't no baby, you know, look at something they ain't supposed to do in the womb. No. And so John Calvin was teaching false doctrine. Amen. That practice of baptizing babies arrived out of that false doctrine. 
So if you were baptized as a baby, you need to be baptized tonight. Because you done done some things since you grew up that God ain't pleased with. You need to get that washed from your soul. The second question was, if I was baptized in another church, is that baptism valid if I want to, you know, people just want to join in to the church of Christ, having been baptized somewhere else? Look with me at 1 Corinthians chapter 12. And I want you to notice here that the Bible is going to show us that we are baptized into one body. Amen. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 12, For as the body is one, and hath many members, and all the members of that one body, being many, are one body, so also is Christ. Christ doesn't have but one body. one body. And according to Galatians chapter 3, verses 26 through 29, when an individual is baptized into Christ, they put on Christ. There's not but one way to get into Christ, and that's to be baptized into Christ. And Christ doesn't have but one body. The Bible says, for by one spirit, verse 13, are we all baptized into one body? If you drop down to verse number 27, Paul says, now ye are the body of Christ. So once you're baptized into the body, Paul says you become a part of the body of Christ. Okay. Now you also need to realize, according to Ephesians chapter 1, and beginning at verse number 22, that the body is the church. And so if you are a part of the body of Christ, then you are a part of the church of Christ. And if you are baptized in another church, that's not the body. Now, that's not popular, but it's true. Amen. 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 In Ephesians chapter 1, verse number 22, And hath put all things under his feet, and gave him to be the head over all things to the church, which is his body. Right. The church is the body of Christ. Amen. So when I say body of Christ, I'm still talking about the church of Christ. Right. And the Bible says it's by one spirit yeah. that we're all baptized into that one church. Yeah. Romans 16, 16, salute one another with the holy kids. And the churches of Christ salute you. That is the only, you can look from Genesis to Revelation. And that's the only church you'll ever find in the Bible. Now once again, we're going to be judged by the Bible. So if, I'm, if I was baptized in a church that I couldn't find in the Bible, I would be baptized into the church of Christ so that I could be right with God. Now in Acts chapter 19, we have some men who were baptized and the baptism was not that. Once they discovered that, they were baptized again. Amen. 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 I've been here. I, 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 I'm not, not going to deal with all the particulars of it, but I need you to understand that Apollos had taught some men. And all Apollos knew was the baptism of John. Uh -huh. And so these men heard Apollos teaching that he was a mighty man. Yeah, look what it was there. Oh, Apollos could impart the word of God, but his knowledge was limited. Yeah. And that may have been your situation in that church that you were in. Maybe your preacher or your pastor didn't know any better. So he taught you as much as he knows. Well, you're here tonight. And when you learn that, you're all going to do better. You follow me? And so when these individuals came in contact with the Apostle Paul, Paul here in Acts chapter 19 and verse 2, as these disciples have they received the Holy Ghost since they believed. They said they hadn't even heard about the Holy Ghost. Paul asked them in verse 3, Until what then were you baptized? They believed, and as a result of their belief, they were baptized. And so then Paul asked them, Until what were you baptized? They said, John's baptism. Paul had explained to them that John's baptism is no longer valid since Jesus has gone back to heaven. Amen. There was a baptism into Christ now. That has the validity or the power to save a man's soul. Right. And so once they understood that they were baptized wrong, the Bible says in verse 5, when they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Right. That's the same, the same they were baptized into the church of Jesus Christ. Right. 
And so if you're here tonight,